This is ridiculous. I did the first kill on the trip and I get the leg bees. I was like, should I maybe even start recording in the beginning and see if I get it? No, it's probably not gonna happen. It's the first kill after the eye. And, uh, well, uh, that is a tier 90 staff. And you know what I'm going to be doing, actually, because we had a discussion in my friend chat recently of what item I should put my Barrow's Die on. And by the way, thanks to everyone who whispered me, it's really cool. Uh, but now that I can make that tier 90 staff, and I'm going to be doing it in just a second, I'm just going to bank that, so I'm going to do that stuff. Um, but I'm going to make a straw poll that will be in the description. If you think I should Barrow's Die the staff that I just got, or save it for a future weapon like my bow, or maybe if I get the sight in the future, or if I get just anything else like the Ascension Crossbow, I can use it on one of those, or a Sirenic item, you know, all that. So I'm going to just make a straw poll, you can check that out, and you can vote. So, what am I going to put my Barrow's Die on is up to you guys, pretty much. Now, this is going to feel absolutely amazing to get my first tier 90. And with this stuff, I'm not really sure. I can use it for, like, Virago in the future. I can use it for raids. Also, I can use it for, like, soloing, for example, uh, God Wars 2 bosses, like Twin Furies. I can do Helvir. All that kind of good stuff with it. So, it's not going to be a bad item to make for sure. It's going to be amazing. Also, for Slayer, it's really good. Uh, so, let's just craft this real quick. We have that spider leg. <laughs> Looks so good, dude. And then we're going to be crafting that with the Araxi eye. And, whoa, what? Yeah, it's not done. Constructing this weapon is one way process because you are ready to create this eye. Yeah, all right. Okay, that kind of goofed me out, and uh, yeah, there we go, 1,000 crafting, and now we have a tier 90 weapon. Wow, that is actually so cool, let's equip it real quick, maybe after first, yes. Alright, that is a sexy as hell weapon, for sure. So about an hour after I made the staff, I was invited to a Beastmaster Dursai kill group, and honestly it was very smooth, so thank you for the group, this guy right here, so shout out to you. And, uh, well, the thing is, I don't really want to kill Yakamaru, I don't think they were going for Yakamaru because the group disbanded after the kill, but Yakamaru is like one of those bosses that seems, like, it doesn't seem that hard, but at the same time it seems like way too much effort to get the same rewards as Beastmaster Dursai, kind of. And I really don't want the gear as well from raiding, I just want the techie to be able to buy the corruption shot ability, because it's just very good of an ability, like on AoE or on single target, it's great. So, I really only want the techie and killing the Beastmaster Dursai boss, like once a week or something, or once every two days, whatever you can do, is enough for me. So let's see what we get for the loot, and we get some techie and some just overall loot. So, I'm, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this is reputation. I don't think I have any rerolls that I can do. Uh, nah, that doesn't work. So I'm just going to bank that. It's not too bad of loot. I think I have like 5,000 techie in the bank now from the kills I've done. And, well, I only need 15,000. So I need to do at least like 9 kills more. And we should be good for an ability. Or if I get the codex before that. So back and forth for about two days I've been killing Aviancis just to get some adamant bars for summoning so I can use all those blue charms that I had in the bank which is roughly like 1600 and I think I have like 600 adamant bars in the bank now it's a pretty good method of getting them and during the time I did get a hard clue scroll actually very early but I just put it in the bank for now and now I'm going to be completing it so hopefully I get something good let's see what it's going to give us. It's not that great, 90k, very standard, at least the next one we can reroll, and yes, I'm going to be going back and forth to Aviancis and getting some adamant bars, if I do get hard clues from that, I'm obviously going to do them, so, the next one we can reroll, which is really good. Yet again, I have accumulated 12 Quintus keys, so we're going to have another shot at the Signet, but let's see how many creatures I've currently killed, I've killed 38,000. Hopefully I don't reach like 40k or anything like that before I do get the Signet, so please let me get it on this one. And by the way, I do have like 40 keys of the other ones in the bank, meanwhile I've just farmed the Quintus ones. So if I do get the Signet here, and I do get another Quintus Signet in like the near future, I'm for sure going to use all the other keys that I only have like one Signet of, because I'm actually fairly close to being able to get a second Ascension Crossbow. The only thing that I'm missing is obviously the Quintus Signet, so... Hopefully I can be lucky enough to get a Signet here and be able to make the first crossbow. And then after that, if I do get that, I'm probably going to try to get Dragon Limbs again and make a second one and go for that. So, let's see how this goes. 
I only have this one left now and it's not looking great for a signet but I did get a scale at least and I do have like 22 of them in the bank so I'm like halfway to the chest piece I think that costs 42 so we're getting closer to that which is not too bad after all and from all the keys that I do have in the bank when I do use them I'm most likely going to get like 10 cybernetic scales so we're getting fairly close to that which is pretty cool but let's kill this real quick. Well, I did not get the signet, but I got some magic shield bows. But I just want to say that a lot of comments in my last video was uh, do not do the engineering for a chaotic crossbow when you get that ascension crossbow because you can just go to Gregorovic in God Wars 2 and get the offhand range weapon from that, which is tier 90 accuracy with tier 80 damage. So I was looking at that and I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that because it's so inconsistent when it comes to what I'm going to gain from it. Like I could go 500 kills on Gregorovic without getting the ranged offhand. I might get the mainland or something but that's completely useless so uh, also killing Gregorovic is like the most supplies ever and I cannot solo it either so the effort of getting maybe a slightly better offhand is not worth it to me I'm just going to be doing dungeoneering for the chaotic crossbow as soon as I do get the ascension one it's just been new year and also that does mean that I can open the oyster and come on it's 2017 let's start it off with a good note and please give me like I would say a blood die would be a good thing that's not a blood die, but that's a Guthix's plate legs. That's actually not that bad. I think that might be like one of the best oyster woods I've ever got. That's kind of sad to be honest. That like a 177k is the best oyster ish that I've ever got. I might have got a page sometime or something, but that's about it to be honest. So I'm back on the adamant bar grind from Aviancis and of course I did get a hard clue skull fairly quick and let's see what the reward is going to be and it's going to be terrible, 47k, that's actually a rare case of a shitty reward, like I can get shitty rewards but this is a next level reward, so I'm going to be re-rolling this one of course and let's see what we get. And that is, that is like 100k better, so I would say it's a pretty decent reroll but overall, well actually I need nature runes, I have like 20 of them in the bank so not too bad overall. And we have another casket, and thanks to Shapte for helping me with the arena step. I really do hate that one, so let's see what we get. Oh, that's pretty shitty. 104k. Well, it's not as bad as the first one before I re-rolled, but it's not that great. Every time Aviancis drops adamant bars, you get four of them, and I think it seems like it's 25% drop rate, so it's like 800 kills for 800 bars, because I've every single time got very close to the same amount of kill count as the adamant bars that I get every single trip, and I'm currently at 300, and I have another hard clue that we're going to complete, and, uh, well, that's two rune full hams, nothing too great, but the next one we can reroll, and wait, that's H3, I have all the H items, actually. We're a bit over halfway on the adamant bar, so we're doing good on that one, and we can reroll this, so let's see what we get, and, uh, well, for sure we're going to be rerolling this, it's like full rune set without the full helm, so that would have been pretty cool if I was free to play, but at this point I don't really need it, so let's reroll that real quick and see what we get. That's, uh, that rune play body T, not too bad actually, but it's worth less, so I guess for an iron man it's pretty garbage. Alright, so I'm actually done with the adamant bar grind and I have 1.3k of them now in the bank as well as some talismans that I already have and I'm going to be using everything on blue charms now so let's do that and let's see where I end up. I'm currently at 2.9 million left to 96 so let's see where I end up. So I actually gained a lot of experience from using all those charms and I'm currently at 94 summoning and I have 1,570,000 experience left to 96. So we're definitely getting closer to that and the uh, legions that I kill for that signet that I need and overall all the keys that I have in the bank is going to give me, if I use them all, a lot of charms as well. So actually that might just be enough to be able to get 96 summoning. But I'm not going to be using those keys now. I'm most likely just going to try to keep getting those quinto signets and in the future I'm feeling 96 summoning very close. So actually for a couple of weeks now I've been advised to do some wilderness divination and I'm going to be doing it on the number one option which is, I, if I can click this, it's really hard to click, uh, the convert to energy because I do need it for invention charges, that's mostly why I'm doing divination at this point and I was advised so many times to just do it in the wilderness because you get more energies that way no matter what because if you click on these for example and I'm currently at 80 divination I can make brilliant energies which is normally for 80 divination look at that and if I would grind 150 of them 
I only needed to grind 100 of these. So even though there is the risk of obviously dying, this is way more effective of doing it. So I'm going to be doing it. It's just 50% overall more energies and for sure I feel like it's worth it. Uh, I might go for like 5,000 cursed energies or a bit less than that and then just go back and then come back again. But for sure I think this is a very good method of training divination. Meanwhile, well, it's not really training divination I guess, the experience drops are pretty low. But at the same time, uh, getting the um, energies that I need is for sure going to be the best way so I'm going to be doing this every single time I want to get some invention gains when I was just grinding the normal brilliant energies it took me five hours to get 10 hours of charge and now with three hours of doing the curse wisps I got 10 hours and 18 minutes so for sure that is a sick upgrade of getting wisps so I'm going to get back into grinding those Quintus keys again as I really want that ascension crossbow now that I have a tier 90 magic weapon covered already. So I'll put a picture on the screen right now of all the keys that I currently have in the bank just to show that if I do get two Quintus signets I can most likely make the second crossbow extremely fast. Now I already have duplicates of most of the signets as well. I think the only ones that I miss is the Secundus one and the Quartus one and due to this is why I really want to spend a lot of time getting the Quintus keys. But meanwhile I spent probably two days grinding out a lot of Quintus keys. I'm going to end the video here and start the next one off with using all of them and hopefully I'll get lucky with the signets. But for now I thank you all for watching and please leave a like if you did like the video and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.